Today we're going to be showing you how we built a gaming PC for 425 bucks that can even handle 1440p gaming. And it features a graphics card you don't normally think of when you think of used price performance. We're going to tell you about that after a word from today's sponsor. Laptops provide a versatile solution that allow you to game or complete your work wherever you want, when you want. Nothing is better than having a portable solution for your day-to-day -day needs, but one way to maximize your laptop's performance is by using today's sponsor Anchor in their Prime Docking Station series. We had the Anchor Prime DL7400, a multi-screen powerhouse using DisplayLink, and the Anchor Prime Prime TB5, a speed demon with the latest Thunderbolt 5 technology. And you might be wondering, which one is right for you? Well, let's find out. The Anchor Prime DL7400 is capable of supporting three displays, with one being up to 8K at 60Hz and two up to 4K at 60Hz by utilizing Display Link technology. It also comes with four USB-C ports with a total power output of 160 watts, and it utilizes Power IQ dynamic distribution among all the ports to optimally power devices. The front ports also support data transfers up to 10 gigabytes per second. The coolest part, in my opinion, though, is the smart screen display and its app control. The Prime DL7400 is a 2.26 inch LCD screen that displays stuff like data transfer info, charging, temperature, and more. And with the Anchor Dock Manager app, you can monitor the usage of each port in detail and even more information. If speed is your main focus though, the Anchor Prime TB5 is the first batch of docking stations to deeply apply Thunderbolt 5 technology. With speeds up to 120 gigabytes per second, that's three times faster than Thunderbolt 4. It easily supports 8K displays and high-speed data transfers as well. With a Thunderbolt 5 upstream port, two Thunderbolt 5 downstream ports, and support for daisy chain expansion, this dock is perfect for creative experts and high-end gamers alike. The TB5 also utilizes GAN material to achieve a smaller size and less bulky power brick, improving the aesthetics and functionality even further. Both units also utilize an innovative intelligent cooling system and internal fans to achieve efficient heat dissipation and maximize performance even further. Click the link in the description down below to learn more about Anchor Prime's new products to get limited time discounts. Now, let's get back to the video. So if you want to see a really in-depth review of the W5700, we actually did a full benchmark on this card, but we thought this card was so good for the price that we had to put a full theme to build around it that is super cheap and the price does include the graphics card. $425 for this entire build that can do 1080p gaming, and you heard us right, in some esports titles dive into 1440p gaming. So I'm wasting more time. Let's talk about all the parts that are in this build. And then we'll dive into some testing to show you guys exactly how powerful this PC is for $425. So to kick off this build, we went with the Ryzen 5 5500 6 core 12 thread. We paid $70 on Amazon for the CPU. It does come with a stock cooler, but for six extra bucks, we got the ID Cooling SC214 XT. So altogether, I mean, that combo being around $86 for an aftermarket cooler and the CPU, great bang for buck. And it's good to keep in mind that the CPU is Gen 3, but at the end of the day, the motherboard that we got, which we'll talk about in a second, is only Gen 3 capable. So you might as well not spend the extra money on the 5600. Speaking of that motherboard, we went with this Soyo B450M Classic, and this is a micro ATX board for $45 on AliExpress. That's a crazy cheap B450M motherboard. If you don't want to have to do AliExpress, though, just check out Amazon. You can find B450s and B550s for usually like $70 to $90. And for RAM, we decided to go with the Team Group T-Force Vulcan. This is 16 gigs. It's a kit, so it comes with two sticks, 3200 megahertz. It's a pretty good bang for buck because it's $38. And then for the storage, we decided to go with the Team Group MP33. This is a one terabyte Gen 3 NVMe SSD. It's 52 bucks. If you get a Gen 4, that's just fine. You know, you might spend an extra $5. I guess it's kind of an upgrade path, but technically it'll just run in Gen 3. Now the star of this PC build, the AMD Pro Radeon W5700, which if you guys haven't seen our full video on, we paid $109 for on eBay. And this graphics card is an RX 5700 for the pro side of things. It comes with all mini display port out, a lot of video out, but it is only mini display ports. So you do have to in adapters, which is an additional like $10 cost, but the performance is really good for the money. 1080p high settings, medium settings, and some newer titles, but even 1440p in some esports titles, it's an awesome GPU at this price point and one of the best price performance options on the used market right now. Now we are using a Gen 3 CPU, so we might be limited a little bit because it's a Gen 4 graphics card, but I imagine this pairing has performed very well together and you guys will see the benchmarks that I was pretty happy with the results. For the power supply, this is a power supply we've been using a lot recently. The Roswell VSB 650 watt 80 plus bronze power supply for 45 bucks. It's a good alternative to the Seagotep if you want to go with a different brand. And this Roswell one comes with ATX 3.0, which is absolutely crazy for power supply at this price point. But if you do upgrade to a new GPU in the future and it can work within the 650 watts that this power supply has, it has that upgrade path for you. And lastly, the case, we tried something a little bit different here from Newegg. This is the Raid Max Infinidia, Infinia, in, Infinia, in. <laughs> Infinita. It, 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 you know, I'm gonna Jackson read this. Is this supposed to be infinity? Where's, where's the box? I'm, I'm verifying yeah, the this. I can think of it as like Spanish infinitia. 
I'm saying in the, the worst way possible. It's the Infinitia i600 micro ATX case. But uh, name aside, this is a $49 case that has three RGB fans. They are proprietary, they're not ARGB, so that is a little bit of a bummer. And we have to manually sync up the ID cooling cooler to blue to get this whole thing going here. Um, but we do have reverse blade fans on the side here and one exhaust fan, which for 49 bucks with glass all the way around, pretty good price performance. And as you guys can see, this build turned out really good for $425. It looks clean. It has a solid upgrade path where you could upgrade the CPU slightly and the GPU if you wanted to. And um, I'm excited to see the performance of this thing, especially with that W5700. Let's dive into some 1440p benchmarks in Apex Legends and then play some other games to show you what this thing is capable of. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are playing some Apex Legends. We're currently running 1440p at high settings, which normally on a PC like this, I mean, we would just stick to 1080, but we think that, uh, you know, for certain games, 1440 is the move now. So just how cheap 1440p monitors are getting. I mean, this is a $425 PC. You can get some 1440p displays for like 100 to 130 bucks. And um, if you're getting that for like future proofing and upgrades in the future, I mean, might as well. And My toggle. If you're getting 130, 120 FPS in Apex Legends yeah. and our esports titles, hey, might as well run 1440. Yeah, I mean, it's looking pretty good that we're getting, I mean, close to higher refresh rate. If 75 hertz is your higher refresh rate, then we're getting it. We're definitely there. Yeah, it's on higher details also, so you do have some yeah. wiggle room to lower stuff if you want to, but... Which most hey, people probably would. Yeah, this is a good example of a game you can run higher details 1440 and have a good time. On a $425 PC, that's pretty cool. Ooh! But I like how this looks, so I'm gonna keep the settings higher. It looks sharper. So I've been, I've been, I've been playing again, so I'm, I'm feeling myself. Yep. He's feeling himself. Feeling He's feeling... Myself, oh! Baby. Yeah! You're doing the classic yeah. strike. It's oh, the God, highest point. Right the highest point and just shoot people. <laughs> I mean, hey, if it worked for George Washington, it works for us. What is that? We hold the high ground. This thing sucks at a distance. Oh, oh they're coming uh -oh. to you. Uh -oh. oh, they said, Dang, you lasered down. me on the zip. You son of a... No. 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 Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, no. Dylan, you're done. You're done, Dylan. Change your name to that. Done, Dylan. Oh. <laughs> Oh, my kill. Oh, whoa, what oh. is going up here? Oh, we're, oh, this is, this could be legendary. Oh, oh dude, the last shot like hit, but didn't hit. Oh, I'm on up. <laughs> oh, imagine. Oh, oh, no, no shot. No shot, no shot. No, mm. oh. oh. imagine. No. Oh. oh, no, they're better they're, than they're that. They're absolutely cooking. <laughs> the game of imagine. Oh. No! Oh! Final. Oh. oh! Number two. Well, that was close enough. I mean, 1440p, this is pretty crazy. And of course it was this person. I just knew it. Next well, game. Next game. All right, guys, um, we're in Battlefield. Hey, there's my gun. It wasn't loading in at first, which was kind of weird. Uh, we're in Battlefield 2042. Once again, we're just playing some Battlefield just to give you all an idea of, well, the new battlefield that's going to be coming, which we'll be benchmarking, but I've just been having an itch to give you something a little different. So 2042, and um, I'm going to hide in this bush real quick. We are currently running the following settings. Uh, general, let's see, here we go. Uh, so we're currently running medium settings, uh, 1080p, no V-Sync, and um, that's that. Nothing too crazy. And we are using Steam's overlay, if you can't tell. And we're getting a bit of stars here. Um, Steam's overlay mainly because uh, Afterburner, for whatever reason, wouldn't hook. I'm not going to show why. And I will mention this game is a good test, and you're probably seeing some of the stutters here of having a lesser CPU compared to when we originally benchmarked this with a higher end GPU, because this game is very CPU bound. So having a six core 12 thread, it's gonna really stress it. Um, and you won't get as smooth of a gameplay experience, but I will say it's still playable once the stutters start to iron out and I don't die immediately here. It makes sense for using 105% of our CPU. Can someone explain these overlays? Oh, oh God, what was that? Can someone explain these uh, overlays on Steam? Because I don't understand the percentages, what they're trying to convey here. I'll be honest with you. Like, does it mean it's going, like it's using other hardware? Like it's it's bleeding over, you know? Potentially. It's, it's, it's yeah, using extra CPU. It's using like your GPU a little bit more. But yeah, about 84 FPS on average. Again, we're in a smaller area right now and I'm throwing this grenade because it seems like they just keep coming up <laughs> this like go? elevator shaft. I can't even see down the elevator shaft. I don't <laughs> even know what's happening. Uh, but again, another demanding game that we can show you guys is how this runs. Um, I wouldn't do 1440p with this game. This is definitely a 1080p game. And the future Battlefield uh, 6, I would do the same thing. 
Mm. Body shot. Oh, no, 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 no. Where he going though? Where he, he running, running up the hill? running up this mountain, baby. Oh, it's a light. I saw that light and I thought that was a glint. <laughs> a glint right just, in front of you. The glint's just waiting for me. It's a famous actor, Glenn Eastwood. Glenn Eastwood. Mikasa, can you show us what Glenn Eastwood looks like? Glint. <laughs> they, they were all just hiding in there. Yeah. That's a robot. Oh, you I killed destroyed it. the ranger. That didn't count though. I'm getting shot at from another direction. Oh, medic. Oh, he's, yeah. Free. What? Peek your head over there. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought, buddy. Oh, here they come again. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, God. Oh. Mayday. That's Battlefield 24 too. Obviously, Battlefield 6 will be a bit more demanding, but shout out to Battlefield. They have emphasized they're going to make the game more focused on running on budget hardware, even though it's a pretty looking game. No so, ray tracing. No ray tracing. So shout out to them. Runs the built-in benchmarks, but hey, for 425 bucks, we got 1440p in esports titles, 1080p lower settings in these higher-end AAA titles. Looking pretty dang good. Let's run those other benchmarks and wrap this video up. All right, we just got done benchmarking this PC, and it's pretty awesome bang for buck. I mean, not only that, it actually looks good. I gotta say, this graphics card with like the blue and then the blue LEDs, good-looking build, and I think it still has some life left. And for $425, we were very impressed with the performance, so we decided to test that a little bit more in some other games to see what else it can do. Those games are as follows. We ran Black Myth Wukong, 1080p medium settings with FSR, got an average of 69 FPS, nice. Max of 85, a minimum of 16. Rainbow Six X, 1080p medium settings, got an average of 232 FPS, a minimum of 167, and a max of 263. Horizon Forbidden West at 1080p medium settings with FSR set to quality, got a 60 FPS average. And for 3 mark time spot, we got a score of 8,183, which is a 5 per point, and that just goes to show how much bang for buck this build really has. Biggest thing with this build is finding that graphics card at around 109 to about 120 bucks. Any more than that, it doesn't make any sense because you can find normal RX 5700s for the same price, but if you can find one for $109 using the links down below, there are fill links, they will help us out. You can build a really awesome price performance gaming PC, but let us know in the comments down below. What do you think of this build, and is this one of our best price performance builds yet? But as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. This build will be for sale at PCBros.Tech. It'll be a great price, and it will come with a warranty. PCBros.Tech. We sell the gaming PCs we feature here on the YouTube channel and a bunch of other ones with customer support, great warranties, and, uh, well, you can see Jake up front. That's a benefit. Use code TOASTYBROS on checkout. You will save 3% your next purchase. See you guys later. Goodbye.